it's a new year and it's a brand new market. We've got a bunch of hot comics that I'm just dying to show you. If you want to know what made my top 10 list for this week, go grab your vibe juice and meet me back here in the comic room. What's up, everybody? And welcome back to another episode of You Know, Keep It Comics. As always, I am your gracious host, C3. Before we get started, I like to do what I always do, which is take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you for stopping by, checking out the channel. Welcome to 2023. We know it's going to be an awesome year. It's a beautiful thing when we have all these comic books out there that just waiting for us to speculate on, to collect, to add to our collections. Listen, it's Christmas all year long for me and for some of you as well. If this is your first time stopping by checking out the channel, please, before this ride is over, consider subscribing to the channel. It really helps us out a lot, all right? And we appreciate it. What we do is we follow the market, books that are trending up, uh, books that are coming down. We like to follow and see which covers are hot, which may have some first appearances, and we also do a lot of unboxings. Every now and again, I'll do a comic book haul just to show some love and fill in some blanks, all right? But most of all, I like to just share my love of comics with you, the community. I do this for the love, not for the money. So it's good vibes only over here, people. You guys know the routine. Check your nonsense at the door, because we're here just for the love of comics. All right? So with that being said, pound that like button, and let's make sure we subscribe to the channel. And we're coming in hot at number 10. This book is a Silver Age book. This book was published by Marvel, and the title of this book is Submariner, issue number five. Absolutely, ladies and gentlemen. This book was released on September 1st, 1968. Now, the key factor to this book is it's the first appearance of Tiger Shark. Now, considering after everything happened on Wakanda Forever, people are excited about Submariner's books. All right, so this is a book that I myself, I have in my collection, but I am in the market for a cleaner copy. So I wanted to share this with you guys. And this is what the specs look like. The last recorded sale for this book was on December 23rd of 2022, where a raw copy of this book sold for $212. This book is currently trending upward, ladies and gentlemen, with 44.69% increase in units that have been sold. The average sale for a raw copy of this book is $141, and the average sale for a graded copy is $394. Meanwhile, there's been 519 raw copies that have sold, and there's been 121 graded copies that have sold, giving us a total of 640 copies of this book that has moved on the secondary market. The highest known sale for this book uh, was made back in August 30th of 2018, where a CGC 9.8 sold for $3,300. Now, keep in mind that fair market value has this book resting at $141 for a raw copy in fine condition. So, if you're in the market for Submariner issue number five, the first appearance of Tiger Shark, keep your eye out on this book because it is definitely on the move. Just like we are, ladies and gentlemen, moving right along, coming in at number nine, a book that was published by Marvel, and this is Coyote, issue number 11. Now, I don't know if you guys have ever heard about this book, and it has a very significant piece to it. This title has the first interior um, story art that was done by Todd McFarlane, the Todd father himself, first interior artwork, all right? So... I'm interested in this because I am a big McFarlane fan. I've uh, recently just got accustomed to uh, reading Gunslinger Spawn, which is one of my favorite books. I really loved Spawn when it first came out, when it was played by Michael J. White. Um, often wondering when was Todd going to be able to make it happen and get the next movie out. It hasn't happened yet, but I'm super excited about it. But here's the numbers on uh, Coyote issue number 11. Check this out. The last recorded sale for this book was on December 27th of 2022, where a raw copy of this book sold for $60. 
And from where I sit, $60 is definitely not bad for Todd McFarlane's uh, first interior artwork that has been done, right? Now, this book is currently trending upward, my friends, at 47.73% increase in units that have sold. So this book is definitely moving on the secondary market. The average sale for a raw copy of this book is $42. Meanwhile, the average sale for a graded copy in a 9.6 is $200. Now, there has been 211 raw copies that have sold and 39 graded copies that have sold, giving us a total of 250 copies of this book that continues to change hands on the secondary market. The highest known sale for this book was back on August 14th of 2022, where a CGC 9.8 sold for $695. Keep in mind, fair market value has this book resting at $42 for a raw copy in near mint condition. So if you are a Todd McFarlane fan as I am, like, like I am, keep your eye out on this book because this book is definitely worth adding to your collection. All right? Coming in at number eight, ladies and gentlemen, it's a modern comic book. It was published by Marvel. It was released on October 21st of 2020. The title of this book is Fantastic Four, issue number 25. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the beautiful Stanley Art Germ Loud cover. Yes, there's a lot of Art Germ fans out there. For many of you who know, uh, I have a decent art collection that I just collect strictly covers. And a lot of people say, oh, you're not reading, but it's just for the cover. Listen, I do read my comics, but I also collect comics for the cover art. Um, I like artwork. I'm a big art fan myself. Um, I dabbled in a little bit since I'm in school, so I'm very intrigued by the artwork, and, and there's different artists that I have grown to like, some more than others, but all to me, all art is great art because it's, it's significant to the individual that's doing it. So this is an Art Germ Loud cover. Now, let's talk about the first appearances on this. It's the first appearance of the Hel um, Helmsman and, and Cameron, all right? Now, the last reported sale for this book was on December 5th of 2022, where a raw copy sold for $116. Now, to get your hands on some beautiful art germ uh, artwork, to me, $116 is not bad at all. That's perfect price point for buy-in. I can really see myself landing this book. Um, and you guys know that I'm a big fan of, of, of Dr. Doom, and this is a must-have in the collection for me. Um, $116 is a per perfect price point for buy-in. This book is currently trending upward, ladies and gentlemen, with 30.80% increase in units that have sold on the secondary market. Now, the average sell for a raw copy of this book is $6. Look at that. Beautiful artwork, art germ, $6. You can't beat that. Um, the average sell for a CGC 9.8 in this book is roughly about 60 bucks. And for me, that's a no-brainer. 60 bucks for some art germ and a 9.8 beautiful Dr. Doom cover, magnificent. I'm around for that, right? Um, so, so far, there's been 109 raw copies that have sold, and there's been just five graded copies that have sold, giving us a total of 114 copies of this book that has moved on the secondary market. Now, the highest known sale for this particular book was back in December 5th of 2022, where that book sold for $116, and that was for a raw copy. But also, like I said, keep in mind, fair market value has this book resting at $6 for a raw copy in near mint condition. So it is still not too late to get your hands on this book. It's perfect opportunity to buy. New year, new adventures, and new investments, man. And this is one of them. Add this book to your collection. You will not go wrong. Dr. Doom, uh, art by, uh, cover done by Art Germ, magnificent, phenomenal. So keep your eye out on this book because it's definitely on the move. Fantastic Four, issue number 25, all right? We're going to keep it going, ladies and gentlemen. Coming in at number seven, this book has a key appearance. And a lot of people didn't really understand where this book was coming from. But uh, as that series began to progress, a lot of people jumped on it. Uh, and I'm talking about uh, The Batman Who Laughs, issue number one. This is a DC book that is definitely worthy of adding to your collection. It was released on December 12th of 2018. And in this particular book, it is the first appearance of the Grim Knight, which is an alternate, in an alternate reality, is a version of Batman. But this particular Batman uses guns and weapons uh, of, of destruction. And, you know, uh, 
DC Universe Batman, he don't really like guns too tough. But this dude right here, be strapped to the T, man. He got the whistlers. He got it all. <laughs> so um, I actually enjoyed reading this book, too. The Batman Who Laughs um, is actually a good criminal uh, for, for the Batman. Uh, very sadistic, uh, kind of like the Joker on 10. So I thought it was real dope. Let's check the numbers on this book. Now, the last recorded sale for this book was on December 22nd of 2022, where a raw copy of this book sold for $8. And again, I love those low price points for buy-in. I have quite a few copies of this in my collection, but as I was going through it, I thought that this might be something worth sharing with the community because it does have first appearances. And with DC being so uncertain as to where it's going right now, you'll never know. They could be reaching back, pulling for these new characters to uh, try to grow the franchise in a different direction. So I thought this was perfect to add to the content, all right? And for you guys to add to your collection. So this book is currently trending upward, ladies and gentlemen, at a 30.21% increase in units sold. The average sell for a raw copy is $8. And the average sell for a graded copy of this book is $31. I know you guys are like, oh, that can't be right. No, that is absolutely right. $31 for a graded copy and a 9.8. Exactly. It costs $31, it costs about 30, 40 bucks just to have it graded. So if you can find one out there for this price, man, you consider yourself ahead of the game. And that's what I like to do. I like to find books that are uh, especially first appearances and uh, meaningful books at a low cost because that enhances my collection as those uh, uh, books continue to rise on the secondary market, right? So there has been 955 raw copies of this book that have sold. Almost 1,000 copies of this book that's moved on the secondary, um, that's changed hands in the raw copy. And then we have 77 graded copies that have sold also, giving us a total of 1,032 copies of this particular book that has changed hands on the secondary market. Keep in mind, um, there was a CGC sell, I mean, no, a CBCS 9.8 that sold back in June uh, third of 2022 for $255. While the fair market value has this book rested at $8 for a raw copy in near mint condition, right? Now, check this out too, because I really enjoyed this book when it came out. There is also um, a beautiful all black Greg Capullo cover that is also worth taking a look at. Right now, just a beautiful copy. Going to be real difficult to find in a nine eight. Um, but if you do, man, consider yourself lucky. This is just a beautiful cover, man. And um, I hope you guys uh, think it's worthy to add to your collection because I definitely know it. it, it, it I definitely feel like it's worth adding to my collection. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, I think a raw copy of this book will cost you probably about eleven to twelve bucks right now in a raw copy. So if you find it in a near mint condition, you're probably going to pay anywhere between. 31 to like $50 for it, maybe even 60 But that's still a good buy for such a beautiful cover. And it is just awesome. All black. Uh, you've got um, the Joker who laughs, uh, just his, his, his face in this all black cover, man. It's just awesome, man. It looks very sadistic, very crazy, just super hot, super sleek, man. So if you are in the market for the Batman Who Laughs, issue number one, first appearance of the Grim Knight, Keep your eye out on this book because it is definitely on the move. All right. Coming in at number six, we've got some more DC titles to talk about. It's a Silver Age book, ladies and gentlemen. This book was released in March of 1961. And I'm talking about Green Lantern, issue number five. Yes, and this is a first because I've never had a Green Lantern book on my top 10 list, but this is one that I'm keeping my eye on. Again, paying attention to the fact of where DC might be going as they reboot the franchise. Um, and the key factor to this book is it's the first appearance of Hector Hamid. All right. Hector Hamid was a very, very powerful telekinetic, and he is able to uh, manipulate the minds of people, but he's also able to generate uh, energy too. So um, he, he would make an excellent bad guy for the Green Lantern to have to go up against. So this is why I'm keeping my eye on this particular dude, because, you know, as they bring these superheroes to the forefront, they're going to need big bad villains to fight. And this is one that I think may be worthy of big screen attention. All right. So check the specs out on this. The, uh, the LRS on this was uh, last recorded sell 
was December 26th of 2022, where Raw copied this book, sold for $480. I know, it may seem a little steep, but considering the year that this book came out and the significance of it, you find this book in a decent copy, and I think it's definitely worth, it, worth adding to your collection. This book is currently trending upward, and I think it will continue to go up because of this particular book. Uh, it is 40, it is trending upward at 42.87% increase in units sold. And I, like I said, I believe it's going to continue to go up even more. The average sale uh, for a raw copy right now is $350. Yes, I know. A little steep, but still worth it. If you can afford it, I definitely think it's worth you trying to add it to your collection. If not, just wait for it. See what happens. Like I said, I think it's going to continue to go up, but eventually it will come down. Whatever goes up must come down. It's a fact. I live by that. So, <laughs> so if you can't get this right now, it's not the end of the world. All right. So definitely don't feel like that. The average sale for raw copies, $350. Average sale for a graded copy in a CGC uh, mid-grade, 8.0, is about $348. For now, we've had 130 uh, raw copies that have sold, and we've had 40 graded copies that have sold, giving us a total of 170 copies of this particular book that has changed hands on the secondary market. Now, keep this in mind. Back in February 10th of 2019, there was a CBCS uh, 9.4 that sold for $1,080, right? I wasn't able to find uh, what this book sold for in a 9.8, but I found that CBCS 9.4, and that is the last recorded high sell for this book, which is back in February 10th of 2019. That was $1,080. All right. So keep in mind that fair market value has this book resting at three hundred and fifty dollars for a raw copy that's in fine condition. So if you're in the market for Green Lantern issue number five, keep your eye out on this book, ladies and gentlemen, because it is definitely on the move. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've made it halfway mark. This is the halfway mark. So allow me to take this opportunity, slow down for a minute, catch my breath. And thank each and every one of you for stopping by, checking out the channel. It's good vibes only over here, my friends. Anything else, you have to go pluck at another channel. All right? Um, I thank each and every one of you for stopping by, hanging out with me. Thank you for welcoming, welcoming one another into the new year, because this is a new year for us. So I'm excited about that. We've got a lot of spectacular things going on. I will continue to do my best to grow this channel for those of you who like the content that I put out. And even if you don't like it, it's all right if you stop by time to time to see what your boy is up to, man. <laughs> I don't got a problem with it. Yeah, you could be mad. You could be happy. Or whatever you be, be good at it. That's how I see it. Just be good at it, man. Do what you do, because that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do what I do. Um, listen, if this is your first time hanging out with me, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. These comic books are definitely good to add to your collection. I show you guys what I may add to my collection. Now, keep in mind, I don't get all the comics that I show you, because I'm not rich. But those that I can afford and I think is worthy of adding to my collection, I definitely bring them on in, right? So I try to share that information with you, okay? Now, one thing I wanna do also is I wanna shout out uh, one of the community artists, right? One of our local artists, his name is Dave, right? And he does really great artwork. I want you guys to check this piece out, all right? I'm gonna put it up on the screen for you. And shout out to my boy Wayne because uh, Dave did this artwork and we went to one of our uh, comic book shops and he actually, uh, donated this comic I mean not the comic he donated this artwork to the shop and I thought that was an awesome gesture man because that's what it's about you know everything is not about money and for him to uh, take that beautiful piece of artwork that he spent that time doing and found it a home and I thought that was real big I thought that was real big and, and, I, and I considered the comic book community had was winning when that happened man so I thought it was super dope man and so shout out to Dave and shout out to Wayne to you guys just for being good people man good people in the community so shout out to both of you all right so thank you guys don't forget hit that like hit that subscribe 
and we're going to keep it moving, all right? Coming in at number five. Oh, before we go any further, too, and if you stick around at the end, I've got some boxes that I'm going to unbox because I like to do some unboxings, too. If you guys hang out, stick out to the end, uh, I'll pop some boxes open and we can see what came in the mail, all right? Now, back at it like a good habit. We got some comics. Coming in at number five. The title of this book is Silver Surfer, issue number one. Now, this is another comic that is very difficult to land in high grade with that all black cover, right? That Francesco uh, Franco Villa variant. It's beautiful, all black. It's a must have. I'm definitely trying to find it in high grade. So I was looking at the numbers and this is what I found. Uh, the last recorded sale for this book was in December 26th of 2022, where a CGC 8.5 sold for $260. Now, this book has a trend of 40% at the moment, increase in units sold, a 40% increase in units sold at the moment. The average sale for a raw copy of this book is $290, while the average sale for a CGC 9.8 is about $408. And I think that's maybe where I'm leaning because I think it's worth getting this book in the 9.8. So that's something I'll probably be chasing. Excuse me. Is that 9.8, right? Because that's what I want. I want that all black, beautiful cover and a nice high grade. Um, there has been 22 raw copies that have sold so far, and there has been 14 graded copies that have changed hands, giving us a total of 36 copies of this particular book that continues to move on the secondary market. Now, Back in August 21st of 2019, there was a CGC 9.8 that sold for $600. So I think that $400 is like right in that area where I can get my hands on it without really, really shaking and breaking the bank too much. Um, maybe I can have a conversation with the seller. I probably could be able to get it for a little less if they're willing to do so. If not, I'm more than happy to pay the 400 bucks, but I'll see what happens. Um, just keep in mind that fair market value has this book resting at $290 for the raw book in a near mint condition. So if you are in the market for Silver Surfer, issue number one, keep your eye out on this book because this book is definitely on the move. All right, ladies and gentlemen, coming in at number four, we have a book that was released on March, uh, was released in March of 1987. It's published by Marvel, and it's Copper Age. The title of this book is Web of Spider-Man, issue number 24. There you go. Now, the key factor to this book is it is the second appearance of Eddie Brock, Venom. And I don't know about you, but I, too, am a Venom fan. Venom, 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 Venom. I love Venom. And I can't wait to see him. I'm pretty sure we're going to see him in his next Spider-Man movie. That's why I put this on my list, all right? So... Let's talk specs. The last recorded sale for this book was on December 22nd of 2022, where a raw copy of this book sold for $5. This book currently has a trend of 53.57% increase in units sold. So it's definitely on the move. The average sale for a raw copy is $7, while the average sale for CGC 9.8 is about $69. There's been 260 raw copies that have sold and 15 graded copies that have sold, giving us a total of 275 units that have changed hands on the secondary market. Back in March 15th of 2021, there was a CGC 9.8 sale for $151. So fair market value has this book resting at $69 for a graded copy in a 9.8 condition. All right, so if you're in the market for Web of Spider-Man, Issue number 24, second appearance of Eddie Brock, Venom. Keep your eye out on this book because it is definitely on the move. And I know I can't wait for that movie to come out. All right, coming in at number three. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we've made it. And it's not even 20 minutes in yet. So we've made it to the top three hottest comic books of the week. All right, this is a modern comic. It was published by Image. The title of this book is Spawn, issue number 13, the direct edition. Yes, again, I told you, I was a Todd McFarlane fan. I'm still a Todd McFarlane fan, and I will continue to be a Todd McFarlane fan. I can't wait to see Spawn 
on the big screen, man, because I'm going to just lose my mind. I already know. This book was released on August of 1993. The key factor to this book is it has one of Spawn's uh, villains in it. Um, it's the origin of Chapel's disfigurement, right? So the average sale for this book right now is about seven bucks. It's the last recorded sale sold for like seven bucks. It has a current trend of 35.9% um, increase in units sold. Uh, it's a raw copy, but I think even in this particular book, a raw copy is worth getting your hands on because uh, if th this book ever comes, and, I don't, and, and not even if it hits the movie, but if you're paying attention, yo, Tom McFarlane is working real hard uh, flushing out and really expanding and broadening this Spawn universe. So, yo, I'm around for that, man. Like, the work that he is putting in, man, you got to give it to the big guy because he is really handling his business, man. He is like, I'm not going to say single-handedly, but he is really, really working hard and and, and, and and bringing these characters to the forefront, man. It, like There's been so many emergence of, of new characters in the Spawn universe just over this past year alone. It's just ridiculous. I, I keep trying to figure out how's he doing it, man. It's like he himself is a robot, and he's just pumping out work, man. He's just really doing it. But... Um, the specs on this are, 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 are ripe for the picking. Like I said, the last recorded sale for this book was back on December 28th of 2022, where a raw copy sold for $7. Average sale for a raw copy is $7 at the moment. And if you want to get your hands on a CGC 9.8 of this book, it's going to cost you about 70 bucks, And that's not bad. All right? Now, there's been 388 raw copies that have sold, and there's been 43 graded copies that have sold, giving us a total of 431 copies of this particular book that has changed hands on the secondary market. Now, back in November 3rd of 2020, uh, there was a CGC 9.8 that sold for $250. And even back then, that wasn't bad. All right? So, Keep this in mind. Fair market value has this book resting at $7 for a raw copy in near mint condition. And I like the fact uh, that many of Spawn's keys are still available, man. You know, so I, uh, this is a perfect time. If you're trying to build your Spawn collection, man, go ahead and do it, yo. Never mind what the haters is talking about. Build your Spawn collection. Go back, grab those earlier copies, fill in those blanks, and get caught up, man, because McFarlane is really doing it. Even me for myself, there are some that I have to go back and grab. And I'm definitely in the market. And I think I might have said this before. I'm looking for that Spawn 174. Uh, I got to have that in my collection because that's that first gunslinger. And I definitely got to get that. And and, and and I will get my hands on it. I'm just waiting for that comic to just take a little. I just need to take a little dip for me. If it take a little dip, man, I'm, I'm going to snatch it up. So... Keep your eye out on this book. If you are in the market for Spawn, issue number 13, the direct edition, it's definitely on the move, ladies and gentlemen. And congratulations to Todd McFarlane, man. Keep doing your thing, big bro. All right, coming in at number two. This is a DC comic. It was released in May of 1992. It's a modern comic. And the title of this book is Batman, Shadow of the Bat, issue number one. Yeah, and I'm sure everybody's familiar with this run, right? Shadow of the Bat, very popular, very very known uh, run in Batman. But the key factor to it is I'm talking about picking up this first appearance of Victor Azaz, man. Like I became a big fan of him when I a big fan of his when I saw him in Gotham. As, as I saw how he was being portrayed uh, by Anthony Kerrigan in in, in 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 Gotham, like I really started liking this dude, and I was like, "Yo, he really made me believe that character, man." So uh, I want to add this to my collection, to my Batman collection. So I, I'm going to definitely try to get this in there. Uh, so this is what the numbers look like. So this is what we're up against. Last recorded sale for this book was on December 21st, where a raw copy sold for $10. And I'm like, yo, yes. And just to be transparent, I already ordered a couple copies. <laughs> I already ordered a couple copies. I got them on the way. For that price, man, it is, there's nothing to think about. That's a no-brainer, right? So, And this book is currently trending upward, ladies and gentlemen. It has a 160.41% increase in units sold. So I'm not the only one who liked uh, Anthony Kerrigan portraying this character, man. So kudos to us for going after this book. Average price for a raw copy of this book right now is about 6 bucks. And if you're interested in getting your hands on a graded copy, you're looking to pay about $79 for a, a CGC 9.8. 
there's been 641 raw copies that have sold, and there's been 118 graded copies that have sold, giving us a total of 759 copies of this particular book that's moving on the secondary market. Now, back in March 15th of 2019, a CGC 9.8 went for $150, all right? So, I think this is a perfect time to get your hand on this book. And keep in mind that fair market value has this book resting at $6 for a raw copy in near mint condition. And like I said, I really enjoyed Anthony Kerrigan uh, playing Victor, Victor Azaz uh, on Gotham, man. So I, I, I'm excited about getting this book in. Once they come in, I'll pop the boxes open for you guys. I'll let you guys see what they look like. I'm just excited about talking about it, all right? So if you're interested in adding this book to your collection, Batman, Shadow of the Bat, issue number one, keep your eye out on it because it is definitely on the move. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We've made it to the number one hottest comic book on the Keep It Comics list. All right? This book was released on 2018 of 2022, uh, uh, December 28th of 2022. It's a Marvel book. It's modern. And I love this book. You love this book. We love this book. And I'm talking about Strange Academy finals issue number three yes <laughs> yes yo this book is something that i think everybody should be reading yo the comic book community do not sleep on scotty young and Alberto ramos in this particular yo this is so awesome i first was introduced uh, to Scotty Young as an artist, you know, all the baby characters that they do. But when I first read uh, Scotty Young's art, I think the first piece of, I think the first uh, comic that I read that he wrote, I think it was Middle West. And after I wrote, after I read Middle West, he had me. So I had been following him. So a lot of things that he's written, he is consistent. And I, I, I believe like this is this is someone like who doesn't get his just due, man. Scotty Young is a great writer, man. So um, let's just talk numbers, man. Like I don't want to just, you know, I can't talk about them all night long, but let's talk numbers, man. Let, let's get some facts that we can that we can run with. All right. So the key factor to this book and the reason that I want this book, um, not because it's just a great read, but I, I'm talking about grabbing. I want to grab that Dustin Weaver trading card variant of Zoe, right? I think that's an awesome cover. Um, Zoe Laveau and Zoe Laveau is she's the great granddaughter um, of Mary of, of Mary Laveau, right? Um, and I think back in the day they had like this brawl where she went against uh, Doctor Voodoo and um, Doctor Strange, and she gave both of them a run for their money. So Zoe is the great granddaughter of, of of that lady, man. And 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 believe it or not, I believe Zoe is going to play a bigger part. Uh, in Strange Academy, and so I'm just keeping an eye on it. But definitely, man, awesome book if you want a good read, man. I definitely can recommend this book. All right, so this is what the numbers look like. Last recorded sale for this book was on December 27th of 2022, where a raw copy sold for five dollars. This book is currently trending upward at 2.9 percent, with a constant increase in copies that are being sold as we speak. The average sale for a raw copy is about 40 bucks because this book just came out. I have no graded data on this book, all right? So there's no CGC data on this book because it actually just came out last week. Um, but it was just such an awesome read, and I'm just so uh, excited about this particular series that I wanted to have it on my Keep It Comics top 10 list, and it is my number one pick because... I think that this series is going to be something huge, man. And if you're not collecting it, you're really, really missing out. Um, there's been seven raw copies that have sold so far on the secondary market. And people are thinking about this book, man, and, and they like that particular cover, too. That artwork is really, really beautiful. Um, people are showing signs of interest in this cover. So if you haven't seen it, check it out and get yourself a copy of it. Now, the highest known sale for this book was back on December uh, 27th where that book sold for $5, right? Again, new book just came out. Fair market value has it resting at $4. Um, Scotty Young continues to deliver like apex writing. So I'm definitely looking for this book to go far. So where, wherever Scotty Young goes with this book, I'm going to be right there with him, 
right? And keep your eye out on these covers because he's got a lot of magnificent artists that he's got. He's bringing them along, and the f artwork and and, and the storyline just flows so fluently in 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 this series, man. It's just ridiculous, yo. And this is not like Scotty Young has done a lot of writing since I've picked up on him, and I know there's many of you who have probably been following him way before I got on got on board with him, man. But listen. If you're a big Scotty Young fan like I am, man, leave a comment in the comment section, man. Give your boy Scotty Young a shout out, all right? The interior artwork is awesome. Uh, the storyline is awesome. Yo, just a very well put together storyline. So if you are in the market for Strange Academy Finals, issue number three, keep your eye out on this book because it is definitely on the move. All right? So there you have it, folks. I have given you your list. Feel free to execute. But be careful. You know what I always say. Never jump out of the airplane without a parachute. These comic books always come back around. They cycle. So you don't have to rush nothing. You don't have to risk anything. Listen, you do not have to lose your shirt just to add a comic to your collection. Take your time. Enjoy the hobby. Save a couple of dollars. This is supposed to be fun, my guy. This is supposed to be fun. There's nothing hard about it, all right? Take your time. So, for those of you who made it to the end, check this out. I got some comics that came in the mail. We're going to pop open a couple boxes and see what's on the inside. Oh, yeah. You like my digs? You like my digs, your boy Drip? I'm out here like this. You see me? I'm out here. I'm out here. <laughs> it is what it is. Let me show you what came in the mail. You know the routine. Cue the music. But keep your clothes on. <laughs> We're going to start with this baby right here. We're going to get in. And get out. It's a new year, so I'm excited to see what the new year holds. I've been spending time with the family, because school's going to start back up soon. That's going to throw my whole schedule off, but I'm going to try to continue to make sure that the content is there for you. I'm going to have to ignore the algorithm and just drop the uh, videos whenever I can. So at least I know you guys are getting your content. Because that's all that matters. Let's see what we got. They got this one double bagged, double boarded. Which I'm okay with that. But I'd rather the farmers come safe. I'd rather the comic arrive safe than anything else. All right. We are in. Okay. Let me just pop this tape on it. Uh oh. This is how it came. Okay. gentlemen I'm glad it made it it looks like it made it safe and sound I got my Deadpool issue number one my notorious B.I.G happy to have it came with the certificate the COA you see that happy to have it Perfect. Big fan of bees. Big fan. So happy to add that to the collection. All right, let's pop open another one. What do you think? You know what it is, ladies and gentlemen. Good vibes only. 
Are you not entertained? <laughs> ah. Don't mind me. <laughs> Listen. Once I get out of school, I'll be able to make more videos, man. You guys won't be able to get rid of me. I'll be graduating in a few months, so get ready. This came with some bubble wrap. It has some bubble wrap around it. Set this right here. I gotta split the ribbons. You know how they tape them together. So I gotta split the ribbons on it. Very carefully. Very carefully. See what we got. Okay. Perfect. All right. So we have Amazing Spider Man. Issue number 11 and 12. Amazing Spider-Man issue number 11 and 12. Right? And I think there was... I think this is the introduction. What is this? The introduction of this Gold Goblin individual that we keep seeing now? That everybody's talking about? So, happy to add that to my collection. You know? Issue number 11 and 12. So that's huge. Definitely got to add that. All right. Want to do another one? Sure you do. I already got it ready. All right. Let's see what we got. What comic are you guys looking to get your hands on this year? What's your what's your white whale? What 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 comic are you looking to add to your collection that you know you've been hunting it down and you're just waiting for that perfect opportunity to grab one, man? Leave a comment in the comment section. What's your white whale? What's what's your big comic? And we know with that with the Marvel universe expanding also, man, a lot of these Comics are going to spike tremendously in a minute. All right. Okay. This looks like it's going to be a good one, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I just got to clip this tape. Oh, they put that. What is that? Okay. All right. All right. I'll take my time because I don't want to damage the comic. All right. Okay. So, what we have here is Edge of Spider Verse, issue number five. And this is. The Ken Lashley limited to 600 variant set. Limited to 600, ladies and gentlemen. Ken Lashley, this is number eight. This is number eight. All right, beautiful. And it has the COA that came with it too. All right. So definitely excited about adding this to the collection. Fresh to death. And that artwork, man, is just superb, yo. I like that. And not for nothing. The Virgin is, is, is beautiful. The Virgin is beautiful, man. Like, the Virgin is beautiful. But I'm really, really digging the trade dress. Like, I'm, I'm really, really digging the lettering. On that the lettering just makes it pop it just feels like 
You know? Leave a comment in the comment section. Which book do you like, man? Which cover do you like? Do you like The Virgin or do you like The Trade Dress? I think The Trade Dress is, is, is really popping right now, man. Wow. Awesome. Definitely excited about that. Definitely excited about that. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We got one more. All right? We got one more. And if I'm not mistaken, this one came from Sad Lemon. <laughs> this one came from Sad Lemon. So let's see what we got. All right. It, it opened real easy, too. Sad lemon. Okay. It, it, it opened real easy. Like. <laughs> okay, big guy. Let me just pop this tape on this side. Uh. Okay. All right, so we got our hands on The Amazing Spider-Man, issue number 14, variant edition. Is this the one in 25? This might be the one in 25. It's fire, though. Definitely fire. Got that purple background. Digging that. Yes. Love it. Can't beat that. All right, ladies and gentlemen. That's all I got for you today, man. I appreciate you guys stopping by and hanging out with me. If you enjoy this type of comment, content please leave a comment in the comment section uh i appreciate all your encouraging comments man i appreciate you guys supporting the channel thank you for wishing me the best of luck and i and will reciprocate that by wishing you well also i appreciate you guys because i could not do this without you thank you very much um i'm just a guy who loves sharing comics man no more no less thank you very much Shout out uh, to my boy, One Shot Comics. I appreciate you. I got your, your Christmas card and everything, big homie. Thank you very much. Beautiful family. We appreciated that. All right? Now, I got to get out of here because I'm going to go eat and then get myself ready for work in the morning. I appreciate you. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And definitely ring that bell. So every time I drop some content, you guys will get that notification. All right? You know what I always say? You know... Don't hate, congratulate, show some love because that don't cost you nothing. Appreciate. <laughs> but no matter what you do, ladies and gentlemen, keep it comics. It's good vibes only, baby. You know what.